So while the uh, boiler video season is upon us, I think it's got something to do with me just having been to Cannes on my holiday, or Cannes on my holiday. Uh, of course, the uh, filmmaking mecca of uh, Europe uh, must have got into my blood. But um, here you go, set up for some boiler servicing here. As you can see, I've got my kit attached there for measuring the Delta T. I've got my uh, meter attached for doing my gas safety pressure tests and uh, pressure tests. But the bit I'm interested in showing you today is actually this for the return air path test. So this manometer tube <coughs> is placed in the inlet to the fan and comes out of the return air path test port on the Wiesman board. And this technique I think was developed by Colin in the training centre at Wiesman. So I hope that's right. I hope I'm giving credit to the right person. Very clever idea. So if you've got a problem with this seal on the front of the boiler, or a problem with the seal on top of the heat exchanger here, and you're leaking POCs into this uh, section of the boiler, um, that's going to obviously get recirculated in through the mouth of the inlet to the fan. Um, now that wouldn't be picked up as a test just in the standard port at the top and the case of the boiler actually forms part of the flue. This is part of the return path of the flue or the chimney as we're supposed to call it now. And um, so if you wanted to actually do a flue tightness test or, or uh, check the, the um, return air, really this is the only place you can do it in there. Now I know a lot of boiler manufacturers haven't thought this through very well and their return air path doesn't allow you to drop the tube down. But um, like with everything, Wiesman seem to have thought of everything. I hope they haven't modified it on the newer boilers because I haven't worked on many of those. And I look a bit silly if they have. So let's hope they've, they've kept in with the phase, the trend. Um, okay, so yeah, so you'd put your flue analyzer in the top of that. Obviously, you need to have the case back on for the test. And that would give you a true um, test of the return air path. So hope that's of use. Um, just while I'm on it, someone asked me about expansion vessels again after my uh, post yesterday. You can see on this one, I've got 1.1 bar written on here and I've got the details on the additional expansion vessel here. 1.3 bar system pressure, 1.1 vessel pressure. Now, yesterday's one was 0.8 bar. But the reason for that, this, this is a three-story building. So if you were to use a standard uh, pressure of one bar for your vessel and one bar top-up pressure, uh, you can see you'd be running at about 0.2 bar on the top floor, very low pressure. And that would still work, it really wouldn't give too much of a trouble. You'd certainly have enough pressure at the inlet to the pump not to have cavitation. But, um, you know, it, it's nice to know how you're meant to do it and uh, to follow the rules. And uh, it just shows a little bit of professionalism, I think. And uh, I think there are different, different theories on how you work it out. So... Uh, I'm not sure if mine's absolutely the correct one, but it's the one I've used for a long, long time and uh, seems to agree with Wiesman and many of the other boiler companies.